What's up my fellow aviators? So guys, the latest delivery that Boeing has made is for the 737 MAX 8 for the Russian airline S7 Airlines, making them the first carrier to operate the MAX family variant in the region. Now this plane is actually leased from the leasing company Air Lease Cooperation, and the airline will receive a further 10 more of the MAX 8 planes. Now their fleet already includes 21 of the 737 next generation planes, and the addition of the MAX will allow them to replace some of their older 737s and they'll be utilised on domestic flights throughout Moscow and Cheetah. Now S7 is privately owned and is the second largest airline in Russia. The plane will be powered by the CFM Leap 1B engines and the airline has configured a plane with a 2 class layout, featuring 8 business class seats and 168 economy. Now the acquisition of the MAX truly reflects the direction that the airline is trying to go for. Throughout the years they've struggled with debt, poor customer service and heavy delays. However due to the massive shake up in the airline's management structure, you can really sense that things are going in the right direction for them, which is actually really difficult considering how ruthless the industry can be. Now all the way back in 2007, they confirmed an order for 15 787 Dreamliners, which were scheduled for delivery in 2014. However, the order was officially cancelled in 2009 because they were considering the possibility of taking the aircraft under a leasing agreement. They also realised that they needed more fuel efficient planes in their fleet. So as of November 2008, all of the Soviet made aircraft has been retired from their fleet, leaving only Airbus, Boeing and Embraer. Now if we fast forward to April of this year, they've expressed interest in the Sukhoi Superjet by planning to purchase 25 of them with an option of 50 more and also becoming the large customer. These new planes will be replacing all of their Embraer E-170 aircraft and they're planning to start flying the new planes by 2023. So all in all guys, this is great news for the Russian airline. Whenever we think of Russia, we tend to think of rusty, battered planes. But this just proves how aviation is advancing quite quickly within the Russian region. Whether Mr. Putin will be happy with the delivery or not, well, <laughs> I'll leave that to you guys to answer. But one thing is for sure, and that is that they're making great steps forward, so that's great news for them. Now captains, leave your thoughts and opinions as always, and stay tuned for the next video.